the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews and came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And when he had said so, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me. Even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Who see whosoever sins ye remit that are remitted unto them, and whosoever sins you retain, they are retained. Jesus appears to the disciples, but Thomas, one of the twelve called, did ye miss, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciple therefore said unto him, we have seen the Lord, but he said unto them, Except I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger unto, into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days again, his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. And then came Jesus, and then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God, Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. Amen. Amen. You may have your seat. This story is about believing. Reaching up and believing that God is who he says he is. Amen. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Have you ever wished you would actually see Jesus? How many of us here wish that they could see Jesus and talk to him? Amen. Are there times you want to sit down with him and get some advice? Amen. Thomas wanted Jesus' physical presence, but... God's plan is wiser than that. Amen? Amen? He has not limited himself to one physical body. He wants to be present with you all at all times. Amen? Amen. Even now, he is with you in the form of the Holy Ghost. You can talk to him and you can find his words Amen in this book. Amen. Amen. He is as real as you are, as Thomas says, Jesus, who are you? That's what he was saying. He, he walked with disbelief, and that's why we called him Doubting Thomas. Amen. Amen. But the word of the Lord tells us that we can reach up. How can we reach up? If we would just believe and walk by faith, amen? amen, because the word says faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, amen, amen. amen. and we must believe that God is who he says he is, amen. God carries the word in this book, okay, when we read the word, we have to believe the word, okay, because in the beginning the word was the word what it said it is, amen. We got to believe and we got to stand on the word. Amen. He says, though I am with you always in our lowest days. Amen. In the valley, he's with us. Yes. Amen. 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 When we feel like we want to give up, God is with us. Yes. So what do we have to do? We have to reach up. Uh -huh. We got to believe that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. When we don't want to have the strength come on, come to get up in the morning like Mother said. Some of us, we 
don't want to get up. Amen. We want to lay around and do nothing. But if we would be about our Father's business, it would benefit us. Amen. And I'm preaching to myself. If the more you do for God, the more he gives you. Amen. Much is given, much is required. Amen. God got so much for us. When we think about peace, we don't give ourselves peace. God gives us peace. If we gave ourselves peace, we'd be all crazy. Amen? And I thank God because when the word said, uh, they whose mind is stayed on thee shall be kept in perfect peace, I thank God for peace because where would I be without peace? I'm reaching up for peace today. Amen? I'm reaching up for love. to God. Amen. Amen. Getting up early in the morning and praying unto our Father. We have our Tuesday morning prayers and I'm just in a maze sometimes how God uses us. Amen. Because sometimes when you don't want to get up and you get up and you get about Him and being about His business, we get up on Tuesday mornings and we pray for the church. But God uses us in such an awesome way. When we begin to really hit the throne, I mean, the things that we feel and the things that come out of our groans and out of our mouths, and it's just God. Amen? Amen. And you don't know until you get there. So if you reach up, know that God is there. Yeah. When we want to walk away, because so many times I said, Lord, and it's foolish talking, I said, Lord, if you don't do something, I'm walking away. I said it too. Yeah. 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 Yes. All the time. But I don't walk away. I let God use me. Right when I say that the next day I get to work and here I got to pray for somebody or right. somebody's calling me on the phone right. and I got to encourage somebody. Amen. But we got to continue to reach up and know that God is with us. When I think about the music world and how I look at them and I say, Lord, I said, how is it that they can make so much money and here I am struggling going to work every day and they get on the stage. No, really. They get on the stage and sing and get millions of dollars. And, you know, we come to church every Sunday and we praise you. And we, I mean, we get on our knees and we worship you. And even in times when we get discouraged and we don't have what we need, but we, we don't have what we want, but we have what we need. And it's because God blesses us. Amen. Because when we come in and we pray and we enter into his presence, God blesses us. Amen. That's our way of reaching up. Amen. We got to know that you know that you know that God is with us regardless. And I said that to say, you know, they make so much money. But they ain't praising God. Yes, I don't know what they're doing behind closed doors. But I, you can try the spirit by the spirit. That's Amen. Right. Right. And I know what I know when I see what I see. Amen. Yes. I said all that to say we must continue to reach up. Because God is with us. And he said that he would never leave us nor forsake us. He is there. He said all things work together for the good of those who are called and who was a called according to the purpose, okay? And our purpose is to live for God. And what we go through is not for us. It's for somebody else. Yeah. When somebody else is looking at our lives, it's, it's God using our lives. Because I said, Lord, at this ripe age, I'm still at this same job, doing the same thing. But he said, no, you're not. Yeah. How many people have I sent to you? Right. How many people come to your desk? How many people have you had to minister? Right. It wasn't for you. 
it was for me. Amen. Amen. So we got to know that we got to keep looking up. Because it's not for your purpose, but it's for the purpose of God. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter what. Because I know these are some trying times. Come on. Prosperity means that we got to be about his business. Because if you want prosperity, come in to the fullness of who God is. Amen. And he will bless you. Yes, amen. Prosperity don't necessarily just mean paper. Amen. That's right. It means salvation. Yes. If you want salvation, you got more than enough to work with. Amen. Yes. That means you got the favor of God. Amen. When I got up here tonight, I didn't know what I was going to preach. I said, she said, reach up. I know God is who he says he is. And I know what to preach about and I said Lord just come through me yeah. speak through me because I know that if I can get a, a solid thing to preach about you know somebody tell me well darling you need to preach on this I can study something but I'm saying reach up I was going on a computer nothing came up but John 27 20 and, and 20 um whatever our scripture 20 and 27 and I said Lord what am I going to preach about okay Thomas didn't believe because he was too busy worrying about what he saw. Amen. And we can't worry about what it looks like. Because let me tell you something. The Satan will paint a pretty picture for us to leave on. Amen. He will make us believe that we will never get what we want. But I've been waiting for something for 30 years. And I know I'm going to get it. No number, but I'm gonna tell you something. I know it's very close. It got to be because I ain't walked away yet. Amen. So God is who He says He is. I'm gonna continue to reach up because reaching up is gonna bring my promise. Amen. story. I must say I thank God for a mother who prays. Amen. And I'm telling you, when I don't go to my friends, I can vent to my mother. And my mother will direct me to God. It's something. Amen. Amen. 